Hello everyone, it's a new video from Extra Math. Let's evaluate i equals to integral from 0 to 1 of minus 1 power ln x dx. Recall that e power i pi equals to minus 1, or e power the odd multiples of i pi equals to minus 1. So we can write exponential power i pi into 2k plus 1 equals to minus 1, where k is an integer. So instead of minus 1, we will write this term. So i becomes integral from 0 to 1 of exponential power i pi into 2k plus 1 all to the power than x. Now multiplying the powers, we have i equals to integral from 0 to 1 exponential power i into 2k plus 1 multiplied by pi and x. Now using Euler's formula, we know that e power i phi equals to cosine phi plus i sine phi. So instead of this term, we will write cosine of 2k plus 1 pi ln x plus i sine 2k plus 1 pi ln x. So i becomes integral from 0 to 1 of this term dx plus i the second term dx. Now let's use a change of variable. We will take ln x as minus t. And so x equals to exponential power minus t. Derivative of both terms we have dx will be minus exponential power minus t dt. For the new bounds, we have if x equals to 0, then t equals to minus of ln 0, which is minus minus infinity equals to plus infinity. Of x equals, if x equals to 1, t equals to minus ln 1, which is 0. Now substituting, we get i equals to integral from the lower bound, which is plus infinity, for x equals to 0 to 0 of cosine 2k plus 1 pi multiplied by ln x equals to minus t and dx equals to minus exponential power minus t dt. Similarly for the second integral, here ln, ln x equals to minus t and this is dx equals to minus e power minus t dt. Now canceling the negative sign and changing the order of integration, we will get i equals to integral from zero to plus infinity of cosine minus 2k plus one multiplied by pi t exponential power minus t dt plus i, the second term, instead of cosine, we have sine. We know that cosine of minus alpha equals to cosine alpha and sine of minus alpha equals to minus sine alpha. So i becomes integral from zero to infinity of cosine 2k plus one pi t multiplied by exponential minus t dt minus i integral from zero to plus infinity of sine 2k plus one pi t exponential minus t dt. Now we can use these two formulas. We know that integral from zero to plus infinity of exponential minus ax multiplied by cosine bx dx equals to a over a squared plus b squared and integral from zero to plus infinity of exponential minus ax multiplied by sine bx dx equals to b over a squared plus b squared. Now we have here a equals to one and here we have b equals to 2k plus 1 multiplied by pi. So substituting a equals to 1, here we have 1, and b equals to 2k plus 1 pi. So this integral equals to a over a squared plus b squared, which is 1 over 1 plus 2k plus 1, all squared, pi squared. And the second integral equal to b over a squared plus b squared, which is 2k plus 1 pi all over 
1 plus 2k plus 1 all squared y squared. Now, instead of this integral, we can put this term. And instead of the second integral, we can put the second term. So now we have i equals 2. This integral equals 2. 1 over 1 plus 2k plus 1 all squared by squared minus i into this integral equals 2. 2k plus 1 pi all over 1 plus 2k plus 1 all squared pi squared. Therefore, this is the answer of the integral i equals to integral from 0 to 1 of minus 1 over ln x dx. Remark that the real part of i equals to 1 over 1 plus 2k plus 1 all squared pi squared, and the imaginary part of i equals to minus 2k plus 1 pi all over 1 plus 2k plus 1 all squared pi squared. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.